Have you accidentally deleted the file and also emptied your recycle bin? Well, in today's video, I'll show you how you can recover those files. It's actually very easy to do so. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Recovering a deleted file is not impossible, but the thing that matters the most is getting it back ASAP. Basically, as soon as you've realized that you messed up, you need to recover the file before something overwrites in that position. Once it is overridden, you will not be able to recover it at all. So right now I'm going to show you which program to use and how to set it up. Let's do that. First things first, what you'll need to do is download a program called Recuva. If you don't have this already downloaded, make sure to go to the link down in the description below. You will see they have a free license, which works really, really well. So you just go right here, you click on download and you just wait a second and it will download the program automatically. You open up the installer, you go into customize over here and you can choose if you want to have it added to the start menu or not and you want to have a desktop shortcut. I don't want this, so that's fine. Click on install and you simply wait a little bit. It will install the program and now we can actually run it. So let's run the program. So before we start using the program, I'll just go ahead, go to my videos and just delete a random video file. So I have this random MKV. I can simply just shift delete it to go permanently delete it. So it doesn't even go to the recycle bin. Click yes. And now we've deleted this file right over here. Now we can open the program up and actually run the recovery. Once the program is opened up, you will see this right here. You go into next and now you're going to choose if it's a video or what kind of a file it is. If you have a specific file that you deleted, make sure to choose that specific file. It will be much, much faster to recover it. If you don't know why you deleted, go to all files, but it might take more time. So I know that it was a video. I'll click on video and then go to next. And over here, you're going to choose which location the file was in. Again, if you're not, if you don't know, you can choose. I'm not sure. But if you know where a specific location is, first of all, it will save a lot of time. And second, you might be able to recover it much faster. Well, you know, before it's too late. So that's fine. I go in a specific location. You can also search from deleted files from the recycle bin if you've deleted them from the recycle bin. So this is also much faster. But I'll just choose a specific location and then I'll go into videos and I know it was right over there. So now I click on next and here you can either enable normal scan or deep scan. Usually it finds the files normally through a normal scan. But if you're having issues, you can rerun the program through deep scan and it will take much, much longer, but you will be able to recover your files safely. So click on start and let's wait it out to see what we get. So after about 30 seconds or so, as you can see, it did not find any files, which is super weird because I've just deleted it. If you go ahead and click on switch to advanced mode, you can see which files are you know being searched for. If you don't have anything seen right here, that's fine. You can close the program and run a deep scan to find that deleted file right there. So let's try that. So we open the program one more time. We go do the same thing. But now I'll try to go all files. I won't choose video. I'll try all files and then choose that specific location one more time. Just videos. OK, click on next. And now I will try one more normal scan to see if it finds it. And if it doesn't, we can do a deep scan like that. And as you can see, it actually found the file itself right here. It was the MKV that we deleted previously. It is right over there. So now we can click on the check mark and click on recover. Like I said, sometimes choosing the video or music or something like that, it does not really work well. You can choose all files and then run it like that. If it does not find it there as well, you can run a deep scan. So if we click on recover and we choose the same location, it will give us an error saying that it might not be successful and you should not really recover it to the same location where it was deleted. So let's choose another drive and let's see if it recovers it well. So I'll simply just choose my SSD over here. It doesn't have anything apart from Siege. I'll click on OK and it says totally recovered one file, partially recovered one file. It did it in like 0.1 second, which is insane. So let's just click on OK and let's find that file and see if it actually works. And as you can see on the SSD itself, we can find the MKV file that we've deleted. So that's how you can recover your deleted files. It might not work every single time, but some chance is better than no chance, right? And that's basically it. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see my other videos, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.